All right, stay tuned to the end of this vlog here as we go ahead and head down to the Dev Conference and tell you all the goings on with uh, the who's who and what's up in the blockchain space, Bitcoin, and you know, let's see what it's all about. Stay tuned to the end of the video. Also, I shot a video last night with a with a gentleman by the name of James Porter of uh, I'm sorry, Craig Porter. He's the lead developer for Token O Vait. Token of Eight is probably the, the most ambitious blockchain project on all in the entire blockchain space. They're they're tokenizing the commodities futures trading market among securities and other financial instruments all onto the blockchain, and it is a massive massive undertaking. So he's got he's the one that actually has his hands right on the entire project. So I will post uh, that video on this channel here you know, in a day or so. So look for it. Check it out. It's really going to be a, a very interesting insight from a guy who really hasn't been out public. I'd never met him before. And he's sharing his, you know, boots on the ground. Like, and that guy who's actually got his hands on the Bitcoin code and how it actually works. So, all right, stay tuned. It's going to be a great day. Pretty nice little spot here. Coming up right now, here's the front gate, Excel London. Excel London. World records are broken. So what is Jungle Bus? Um, I kind of just explained it, but but in a very basic sense, it, it is a piece of uh, modified node software that is designed for that filtering and service, and then it's provided via API to you. So you can simply subscribe to an endpoint that, that just continuously listens to the network. What's up, Frank? And uh, it, it gives you the data that you need and nothing else. So this is a massive savings to you. Again, I asked at the beginning, how many people do or want to run a full node client? And it's expensive and it sucks and it breaks down and it goes out. I'm the CTO of Hankas, a company who has helped developers, entrepreneurs, just like you, to answer this question multiple times. So we help you to find the answer to this question uh, in a very effective way because you can run a business plan, you can do some market analysis, you can do many things, but there's only one way of actually answering this question and is by building the product. You come up with an idea, you build the product, you give it to some users, and then you get some feedback in exchange. And this is how you actually validate if you're building the right product. Uh, if you just go to the event product, so we've got one that's already installed. Uh, so you can see at the top, okay, yeah, it says you've got a 10 days trial period remaining. Uh, so we installed that one today. Um, so you've clicked on a one for your development environment, one for your test environment, and one for production, or maybe you've got a number of applications and they're using multiple instances of that product. Uh, so can you click on the details again, please, Leonard? Not adding too many uh, fields. One of the two things that when we were talking about the product we should be doing this year, we wanted one, that the product is end-to-end. -end. So it's not just about writing to the chain, it's about also giving all the tools so that somebody can actually verify what has been written. And that means, in the case of sign, maybe an auditor that wants to verify that the document was signed properly, whether it's to check that the subjects or the people were correct, or that the document has not been modified. So providing all the tools, all the features, end-to-end, -end is, is the first point. The second one is template proof. This one, obviously, is leveraged by the fact that we use a blockchain. But again, here, yeah. We, what, one of the things that we do when we build our product is we do not put forward the fact that it's using blockchain. Blockchain comes as a, as a benefit of using the solution and adds value to the solution that we provide. So even today, when I'm going to show you sign, you will see that we are not talking about the blockchain. We are not saying, oh, it's because the blockchain. We just say, okay, here's the, here's the user experience, and yet behind the scene, blockchain is being used. Obviously, for this audience, I will tell you a bit more where the blockchain is used for sign. With the identity product, because as Mike was mentioning, all those modules are meant to be working together. So if I were to use the identity module to actually leverage a about me to sign, 
then suddenly the keys are also with me, the proof that I am Thomas is with me, but still I'm using that to sign the document. So there is no need for an intermediary, all the information is available either through the document or through your instance of sign. So this is, for, for example, the challenge that we are, trying, uh, that we are solving here, is like if a person, a fraudster, was creating so many, uh, so many uh, business of registering and signing the paper for all those businesses, you would have difficulty to trace uh, uh, to trace that. Now, if the identity being used across was actually always uh, the same, and, and the keys were always validated to be the same, then uh, you would have better way to track and to incentivize people to do the right thing. It's not what proves most of the time online uh, signature. It's going to be the electronic signature. Um, which you don't really see here uh, because it's happening and there is a proof on chain about it as well. But still, that's what we bring power to this document. So, at the end of the process, here, yeah, because it's a custodial model, so the, 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 the key we use are actually stored wherever this instance of sign is stored through uh, the use of an HSM, etc., for, for storing the, the private keys. But here you could have the same uh, principle with identity where I actually use my wallet, my keys, to actually sign the document and also to prove who I am. Do a quick recap there of the DevCon, you know, really in closing. Brett, Brett Banfee did a great job, and I missed this, missed it on video, but in recapping about how like this is a, the closest thing to the world-changing paradigm that's going on right now is the... He, he referenced the development of fire, the invention of the discovery of fire by Prometheus. Probably the best way to put it. I think that's a pretty good analogy. That's how big the uh, revolution is that's going on right now. And very few people uh, understand it. I mean, literally, there's like maybe 60 people in that room there. I mean, a lot of people were watching worldwide. I don't know any online, but it's very few people who actually comprehend the magnitude of the things that are going on. And, you know, one of the things that was announced by the BSV, or the Bitcoin Association, which was the Mandela upgrade. A lot of it glosses over my head, so let me just kind of summarize it, which is basically, it's the implementation of a much more, not even much more, a, a massively scalable blockchain, which scales horizontally as opposed to vertically. And it takes it on to the scaling of the network uh, is at a mil million transactions per second. Apparently, they're they're testing at right now, and it's been very effective. But I'm, they're talking about scaling it indefinitely to three million transactions per second, five million, and then at an indefinable, just never-ending scalability. That's apparently what's going on with this Mandela upgrade on the blockchain right now. Very interesting conversation today with uh, one of the gentlemen from Accenture which is a development, which is a company that does software implementation like uh, SAP and Salesforce, kind of like an IBM competitor. And they are here investigating and trying to evaluate what is the value proposition of blockchain implementation and adoption for their clients. So people are watching, man. This is a big, uh, this is a big, a big deal. So that's day one. I'm going to go to a party right now. See if I can, I'll see if I can do a, any of that, all right? It's gonna be at the Block Dojo event.